And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Tom Kench to finish out our Tier 1 Rank Up Sunday, playing some of the most popular decks today. Not something we do all the time. As you all know, we love to explore the metagame and play all of what Legends of Runeterra has to offer. But today, we are playing some of the most popular and best decks in Legends of Runeterra. Going with Soraka Tom Kench. This is a deck that I wasn't really impressed with to start with whenever Soraka and Tom Kent were just re were released. But over time, I think it's gotten better. And I think it's kind of, um, it's gotten tuned more. And I think the deck's better than what it used to be. I really like this Shakedown card. I think this is a card that's really underrated in this deck. And it's a card that uh, I always seem to uh, be, um, uh, be upset whenever my opponent plays a Shakedown. Usually ruins my plan. Um, but y'all have probably seen this, you know, we are a Star Spring deck, you know, with the, um, trying to heal our, um, our own allies 22 plus times to be able to win the game. Astral Protection is just an all-star in this deck to go along with these units with a ton of health. Tom Kench, Soraka, and all these self-damage units with Bilgewater. I don't need to explain the deck too much. I'm sure y'all have seen it. We're going to go on over to our holiday-themed board. And we're going to play five games in ranked. No, I, I won't be Mafia Plot. Okay, let's see. Mirror match. I mean, we got our three most important cards. Star Spring, Soraka, Tom Kench. This is one where you want to have the attack token on turn 5 and not on turn 4 because you can't play Tom Kench on turn 4 and then the opponent also, like in Tom Kench Mirrors, you can't play Tom Kench on turn 4. The opponent also plays Tom Kench on turn 4, but then it goes to them and then they have priority on turn 5. They eat your Tom Kench. So this is actually a game where you really want to have the priority on turn five, but not really necessarily for a be aggressive region reason. It's kind of weird. It's a big responsibility to shepherd stars. Tom Kench is like the best card in the mirror. I would love to play Tom Kench right now. But I can't... I guess... I guess I can have my other Tom Kench afterwards. Yeah, so here's... Okay, so here's the thing I can do. I can I go Tom Kench, they go Tom Kench, they eat my Tom Kench, I play a new Tom Kench, and then the next turn I eat their Tom Kench, and then I have two. That's like best case scenario. The, the problem with all of that is if they have Bastion. Um, if they have Bastion and stop it, then I... You know, then the game's just kind of over. But I guess... I I guess that, that requires them to have both Tom Kench and Bastion, and if they have both of those cards... Okay, cool. They just don't have Tom Kench, so that works too. Cool. I got a Bastion. That's good. Be at peace. Round them up! I need a better chick! The Star Shepherd's actually doing a lot of damage. You don't usually see the aggro game winning in this matchup, but it may here with the Star Shepherd. Why even use a hush right there? What is this? Is this hush doing something different that I don't understand what's going to do? With as far as capturing goes? Ooh. 
Well, I, I'm using Pill Cascade so my Tom Crunch doesn't die. Allow me a small I think Guiding Touch is more valuable than Pill Cascade because Guiding Touch uh, can heal um, heal my Nexus. Could be very important. I see your life falling away, Pablo. And I see you face first in your way forward. Yeah, I don't really know why they use those two hushes. Stather, where are you off to? Stars fall. Live with purpose. I be my own. Two Sorakas captured. Astral protection is perfect. So they're at 10 on theirs. I'm at 13 on one of mine. Yeah, Tom Tom Kench is kind of cheating in this this mirror match, isn't it? So that's thirteen. Okay. Well, that will do. I had Tom Kench, they did not. GG's. Right, we're playing against Vi with Freljord. Frozen Vi. So probably a Poro deck. That's what I'm guessing. They're going like Poros with no Braum. This is a good opener. Alright, come here. Pup. Pup. Jump. There you go. Yeah, Victor Poros is going to be pretty sweet. Both the new champions so far look really fun to play. So let's get the attack in for two. Of course, I want to have Soraka support Boxtopus. Seems like the wrong thing to Mystic Shot. Oh, they go that Thermogenic Beam. Alright, should have passed. Should have passed and held up Guiding Touch. I got really punished. To heal and protect. Yeah, I got really punished. The Star Shot! Clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. So what are they gonna do with all their mana? They're just holding more thermogenic beams. Not all of us are immortal. Is that ten cards? No, nine. Okay, so they're good. Now, playing the box bus on turn two is probably going to really come back to bite me. I will find the goodness in you, River King. 
That was a good draw with the Tom Kench. Very good draw. Yeah, I remember when Braum didn't get to the 3-3 Mighty 4-0. Back when you couldn't really play Braum. I'll protect you. Appetizers of religion. Okay, let's see. Let's eat the 2-3. Uh, basically, just eating it because it's bigger. And, you know, we want to heal the most that we can. Which I guess doesn't really matter without having Star Spring. It's just healing. That's the only thing that's important. We have healed damaged allies one time. We should buy you brunch this broadback protector. Maybe next turn. Freljord and PNZ. I don't think they're gonna have any way to kill like a really a uh, unit with a lot of health. I don't think they're gonna have anything in particular. Make sure. Pick an ally, capture an ally. Okay. Capture being captured. Okay. All right, doing that right now where that basically only costs one mana. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Yeah, I guess, guess that Freljord has a couple of things that can kill some stuff with zero power, like the, especially the Challenger, you know, like a Winter's Breath. They go like Frostbite plus Winter's Breath. Now I have Hush, so now I can even protect against all that stuff with Hush. Death of the Poros. Alright, so that's three out of four. No, oh, no, it's two out of four. Alright. Basically, just cast that Guiding Touch to draw a card, of course. Where there's a will, there's a meal. So, what's in store for me, Nima? I need time. Poor Heart of the Fluff. Hush is like just like the one thing that really, really shuts down Heart of the Fluff. Alright, I'll just go ahead and attack. There, down to two. About the only thing that kills me is if they do that same thing again. Live with purpose. Take heart. I just want to see what I was drawing. Allow me a small Round up those stars. We'll have the that backup hush still. Okay. Not to worry about that with Astral Protection. If they have another Heart of the Fluffed, because it'd be 12, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, they could. If they had Poro Snacks and Heart of the Fluff, they could make a 20 power Heart of the Fluff. Not all of us are I 
to get some 2-2 elusives. Yeah, I could have silenced the elusive, and they'd have the eight power challengers. So I just give them some two power elusives. That's fine. Man, this deck is mean. Poor Poros. What a commendable achievement. Hush is such a mean card. Ooh. We've had a lot of our champions so far. Our deck's been pretty good. So the Demacia decks. Demacia decks are always difficult. Let's just keep the Astral Protection and trade out the other ones. It's not like those cards are that bad, especially like Guiding Touch. But you know, we want to we want to find our champions. Love the Hush. And I'm gonna wait on the Box to Puss. Not gonna just play it out here. This world has such great potential. So probably Shivana next turn. Forged in dragon fire. Taste. Let's see. I have eight mana. So I play Acquire Taste. I can still have Astral Protection and Guiding Touch and or Hush. Or I can have... it up to five. Here they come. Oh, I don't require it's not going to be easy. Ooh, that Soraka's Wish could be really good. Because Let's see. So I figured out that if there's this, this little box here. If you... Oh no, it only goes to six? Wait, that's not right. I guess it just says what its normal thing is. Because it should be um, an additional 6. So it should be like that 6 plus an additional 6. So it should go up to 12. We wear red to honor the fallen. And I just have to do it right now. Because, you know, like single combat, then I respond with Guiding Touch. But I, I can't just like play Star Spring first and then they, then they challenge with both of their things. Stars, hear me. Alright, three out of five for Soraka. I found a home among the Dragon Guard. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. Alright, GG's. Yeah, they're just gonna watch their other Shivana go away. And realize, wait a minute, this isn't good. Getting those predictions. How are we gonna do against Lucian Zed? Demacia, Ionia, probably a good amount of rallies, maybe some Bannermen. Um, good hand for us. Boxtopus with the Challenger, Soraka to the heal, Boxtopus. We're attacking on turn three also, which is, you know, exactly what we want with that. Um, Everything's better with company. Says you. Says you. 
So it's a great, a great hand of boxtopuses and Soroctuses. Soroccas. Okay, I got to fight, you know, even fighting through Bright Steel Protector. Pledge yourself to the shadows. I, will find I imagine it's difficult for Zed to attack through Tom Kench. Man, this deck seems broken. Alright. We got extras of everything. We'll have an extra Soraka. So we're going to have six mana. Appetizers are Not the best amount of mana. Let's try this first. It's too late now. Five four. Some blessed vigor to try to keep this Tom Kench alive. Where there's a will, there's a meal. My shield is yours. Wait. You capture you. Going to almost kill me. Oh yeah, never mind. They did the never mind. It's not gonna almost kill me. They did the, the challenger like this. I was thinking that they're gonna put it on the you know like the bright steel protector challenge and do seven damage to me. Alright, so I've leveled up Soraka. As long as they don't have you know a fight spell. Please, no fight spell. Alright, that'll work. That's a good, a good hush. And a good guiding touch. Man, this deck seems really good. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand why people play this deck so much. I'm just going to eat my own Soraka. Level up Thomas. And uh, now we'll have like new leveled up Soraka in play, so that whenever we have the Star Spring, heal my Tom Kench here, we should draw another card. Because yeah, it's a new a new object, even though it's, it's the same Soraka, and we already drew a card from it this turn. There we go. Training is unconventional. The Star Child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to but yeah, like the, the Soraka, Tom Kench, Boxtopus, Star Spring. Where you go, all that together. 
This was silver. Yeah, you know, they're, they're not playing this card. The Swiftwing Lancer created that. Mm. I mean, even an elusive. I have a hush for an elusive. I don't really have to be worried about an elusive. Come on, Ethan. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Full speed ahead. Another obstacle. There we go. GG's. We are four and O. Oh. With Sir Rocket Tom Kench. Looks like we were saving the best for last. Yeah. Yeah, Violet, your deck's doing great here. Alright, facing Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal. I'm going to keep the Sunbless Vigor with all their things being damage based. I'm going to mulligan the Star Shepherd. And we'll keep the old Krusty Codger and the Tom Kench. And the Astral Protection. Some more support for the Tom Kench. So our best draw step is Soraka, our other champion. I'm going to pass. Dealing two damage to them isn't really that important. This keeps them from playing Draven this turn, or Ezreal. Like, they can't really play Draven or Ezreal right now. Yeah, they gotta play other things like that, like House Spider. Or Lord. What's up, Soraka? You would have been good to have last turn. I got ways to find me mushroom. They do have the kill a damage unit cards. You know, besides just like worrying about, uh, you know, like Ravenous Flock or something like that, they do have like those, like, you know, Noxion Guillotine the cards that kill a damage unit. So I, I do have to kind of play around with that. Yeah, I guess. So it's not just I ask for protection, my Tom Catch, and they can never kill it. It's Noxion Guillotine is really an, an annoying card. Yeah, that's really an annoying card. So they can go Astral Protection, but then all they have to do is just then Mystic Shot. Same with Bastion. I guess if I'm going to force them to do one, I'd, I'd rather use the Bastion on that. And save Astral Protection. So that went really well for them. It could only go better if they had a rummage now to rummage that away. Oh, that's true. They, they, they just make an additional copy through the spell shield anyway, so they would just be able to recast it so they didn't even have to have anything special. That's true. Right, because the... Right. Spell shield just stops that spell, but then that's it. Well, I was feeling great about winning this game until I remember they have Nocturne Guillotine in their deck. Without Guillotine... It was going to be difficult for them to win this. There's always fight in eight plus Pablo. Time for the main event. Like to see a scrap without axes, you filthy tart. We're all family here. Oh, still be behind. All right, we'll kill the Draven. Raven down. Draw one. By starlight. <laughs> Should have stayed home, pal. Take heart. Of course, I want to get that attack in first. 
before anything crazy happens, but yeah, it would have been really nice to have Star Spring in play. I'm gonna play the Pell Cascade to kill, you know, kill the Sump Dredger right there and draw me a card. Alright, so we're at three out of four for Soraka. The Soraka's probably dead though. All right, like a five mana, all you know, these million cards in hand. I'll, I'll be very surprised if we uh, get to keep Soraka alive. Yeah, because it's probably dead. All right, but now future Sorakas will be leveled up. Ren Shadow Blade, not a bad four drop. A lot of my favorite stuff in Magic was like land destruction kind of stuff that you don't have in this game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Tribeam and Probulator is OP for sure. OP for sure. So I guess I cast Hush and save 5 life. we have to do that. I mean, I don't... I don't really know what else Hush is going to do, but, I mean, Hush can, like, stop, like, a... I don't know, some kind of pump or something. But, you know, I am at... Like, I don't really want to take five. Being at 12 with all these decimates. I mean, maybe maybe I need to use that Guiding Touch on my life total instead of the Guiding Touch over here on the Boxtopus. You know, I kind of... I did that with the... I uh, used it on the Boxtopus. You know, with like the star spring in play and everything. I guess I should have used the guiding touch over there on my life total. Red Fortune! Yo, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. to guiding touch my life total but even if i would have done that the you know we would have been at two here you know like their their decks tons of burn spells like I, I don't really think that like twos you know has a survive but you never know so yeah gg's opponent had a great hand they had you know everything they had really good interaction and they had the noxion guillotine that they needed and then you know the captain farron was perfect you know good hand good job Okay, so we ended, we did end up losing with Soraka Tom Kench. All right, but there we go. I was definitely really impressed with this deck. I was really impressed with the power of Tom Kench and Soraka to go along with Star Spring. That was you know really impressive. Those Astral Protection. Um, yeah, this deck this deck was really good. Um, you know, Boxapus did its thing, and uh, yeah, really good, especially against other decks with a whole bunch of units. Um, Hard removal spells are more difficult, you know, like your Ruination, Vengeance, and then we saw the Noxion Guillotine. That Guillotine in, particu in particular was a little rough, how I couldn't even, you know, stop it with Bastion or anything. But, uh, yeah, this was, this was a really good deck. I recommend playing this one, and, uh, yeah, so that's kind of all, all I got right now. All right, well, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Hit that like button and let me know how it goes. If you if you're playing this deck, let me know how you like it. Is it uh, really good? Um, you know what do you you know anything about the deck? Love to see those comments. Um, you know any anything to to make it better or um, you know like what you're doing well with, what you're struggling against, any anything like that. Love seeing those questions and comments over there on YouTube. But that's it here for Soraka Tom Kench. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.